Hey, welcome back. In this video, we have a few more components to add. I will probably cover just one of them. So let's go ahead and use that tried and true process to find our components. First of all, let's look and see if the 3D model for our IC number two is available. So we go to manufacturer part search, hit enter, and sure enough, it's not there. So if I were to click on this link, it would take me to the manufacturer and I can go to design and development, see what options I have here. You know, what's interesting, this has the S parameter model and the IBIS model. So I would download the IBIS model and also the S parameter model for this part. This will come in handy during high speed simulation or if you're simulating in other software. So there are those. What about CAD and CAE symbols? We can view our download options here. It's available from Ultra Librarian. We get a basic view or detailed view. I'll go with basic. I'll choose the CAD formats, step an all team designer. I read the agreement and then download that. Now we have three folders, files, sim two simulation files and one file for the HD SS3, you know, this right here. So I'm going to extract, extract this, go into Altium, run a script. Now I'm not going to do this one. I will browse from file. I want this UL import HDS. Okay. Click OK and go into file. And am I in U HDS? No, I'm in TUSB. So you can't trust that it will automatically pull up text file in the right folder. You have to go there manually. Once these have been imported, let's look at the PCB footprint. Pull up the PCB library. Look here. PCB footprint is called RNH. All right. These are some large copper pads, seems like. So let's double click on here. Yeah, very large. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but we'll just go with it. And then to RNH 3A. But delete this straggling component. And then this schematic symbol is called HDS, HD3S. Okay, so now that we know what these two are, let's save them. We're going to uh, do the next step, which is adding them into the ecosystem here. So what I do is take note of the PCB footprint again, RNH, right click, import the library. This designator needs adjustment, right? We can update that once it's in the cloud. So we'll right click. Or we want, yes. Okay. So I'll import this library categories, components, symbols successfully imported. Now I need to add, go to manufacturer part search, take advantage of the fact that this data is here already. Then go into my integrated circuit, maybe like interface and you have the height of this chip. Maybe you want to do package body shape or whatnot. Is it surface mount? What's the nominal supply voltage? You can even do CMOS technology, you know, technology for the device. Okay. Now that the metadata has been added to this, I can go to my existing under add symbol and then look for that TUSB. So if I go to symbols, making sure my settings are set to load all pages, sort by name, really you can also do by revision ID, revision ID, right? And then you can get the latest one just like that. That's the quickest, easiest way to do it. Then you can add the footprint by going to existing footprints. And if it's sorted by revision ID, get the latest one there because it'll have the latest revision ID or part number. Now, the beauty of this thing is I can I can add a 3D model here. It's already in the cloud. And once I update in the cloud, it will get it will get updated locally and in the cloud. So I've got to choose edit and then edit the shared model. I can delete designator, place text tab. I want this designator text to be on the top overlay layer. Stroke width could probably be eight mils. You know, now I need to place my 3D body, 3D model. And there we go. It's right in that folder here. So I'm going to go with this mistake on my part. See, we can't trust it. So I'm going to place 3D body and go to my HD3. There we go. Similar looking 3D model names, but you know, it's easy to forget. All right. I'm going to look at the bottom side. Okay. This one's a little tricky. Okay. Pretty much fits exactly. So I got lucky on that one. Go to view top side. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead, save all, close this. It's saved in my server situation. Then I can update to latest. I'll delete that. It's not really updating with the 3D model image. So let's double check to make sure this is actually edited properly in here was so maybe it'll just update on its own. Eventually I will copy the name for this part. See, this is the long detailed description. I want the short description. Okay. Now that I have the name for this from DigiKey, um, I can add a, 
I can maybe add some detailed things. So if I were to undo this, right, and then control copy and then paste that whole description in there, and I can do control Y to place that back. All right, the name for the component is in there. I hit close. It will prompt me to save 23 warnings. That's a lot of warnings, right? It has the shorted copper situation. So new component, but shorted. We're going to leave that in and we are done with that 